Hello friends, this video on coordination compound part 31 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Same thing here, we write all these values for CSFECL4. So first I'll try to write oxidation state. This is minus 4, which is plus 1, cesium. And then this is x plus 1, plus x minus 2, remember x is plus 3. So the oxidation state is plus 3. Once I have the oxidation state, I can write the So this is cesium here. This is cation, so I write first. And then anion, FeCl4. The anion, first I write the ligand. Ligand is chlorine, 4 chlorine. Tetra chloro and then iron. Since it is in the anion, it will be ferrate, and the charge on the ferrate is plus 3. So that is the name cesium tetra chloro ferrate 3. Done with hydrogen. Coordination number 4 chlorines, coordination number is 4. So the splitting will be for tetrahedral. Tetrahedral splitting is different. This is TPG in the up. Bg in the left. Okay, now I have Fe3 plus. Fe3 plus electronic configuration is 3D5. Cl is a weak field ligand, it won't force pairing. First two electrons will come here, third will come here, fourth will come here, fifth will come here. No pairing, so electronic configuration will be Eg2, Epg3. Please note, it's tetrahedral, so we did the splitting in this fashion. So I'm done with the electronic configuration. Let's draw a magnetic moment. Magnetic moment is root of n into n plus 2. So there are 5 unpaired electrons, 5 into 7, and that is 35, almost 236, that is 6 power magnetic, almost. Done with the magnetic. Let's talk about our stereo chemistry. Now, if you see all these d orbitals are occupied, so they can't use d orbital. So the hybridization will be sp3. Why sp3? Because coordination number is 4, it needs 4 orbital, 1 plus 3, 4 orbital. So sp3 hybridized. So sp3 hybridizes tetrahedral. So Fe is 1, so it will be Cl, 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 Cl. This will be the stereochemistry of this. And it will be optically inactive because of symmetry from all sides and there is no isomers. Okay, that is the shape of this, a structure of this. Same thing we have to do for K4, Mn, Cn6. First draw, write the oxidation state. This is minus 6, this is plus 4, and this is x like suppose. So plus 4 plus x minus 6 equals 0. We solve the value, x is plus 2, so oxidation state is plus 2, one quotient is 10. Then I'll write the IUPC name. Cation come first, potassium, so I'll write potassium first. And then anion, this is the whole thing is anion. So anion, I have a ligand first, ligand is sino, 6 sino, hexa sino. And then you have Manganese and this is negative ion, so it will be manganate. Okay, and then charge on the magnesium is plus three, plus two, so it will be done with the IPC. Electronic configuration. First, for that let's write uh, coordination number. So there are six bond between M and CN. So coordination number is six. Six. That means we are talking about octahedron. So this will be TPG in the same way. So coordination is also done. So let's see this Mn2 plus Mn2 plus the electronic configuration is 3D5. And Cn minus is a very strong legend, so it will force pairing. First, second, third electron will come here. Fourth has to come here, fifth has to come there. With this, the number of unpaired electron is only one. So magnetic moment is root n into n plus 2. Number of unpaired electron is only one, so it will be 1 into 1 plus 2, that is 3, that is root 3, that is 1.73. Bond. I'm done with the magnetic moment. Stereochemistry. So there are two d orbitals here, and we need six orbitals. So it will be d2, sp3. Two of these d orbitals, the next s orbital, and the next p orbital will be used. So it will be d2, sp3 hybridization, that is tetra. So it is octahedral. Okay, so I have mn here, and all these six I have seen. So this is all symmetrical, so you will not find any isomers. Okay, it will be optically inactive. All symmetrically. If you take a mirror image, you will get the exact same thing. Okay. 
What is meant by the stability of the coordination compound in solution? State the factor that governs stability. Stability of the complex in the solution is nothing but the degree of association between the two spaces. For example, I have M plus combined with 4L to form ML4. The degree of association is beta is my stability. And this will be in this case concentration of product by concentration of reactant to the power of coefficient. Greater is the value of B, greater is the proportion of ML4 in this solution and greater is the stability of this coordination upon ML4. Okay. And we discuss about the factors that affect the stability of this compound. First is the charge density on this metal, charge density. And the second is for this ligand, the nature, basic nature, more basic is the ligand, basic nature of ligand. For example, ammonia is more basic than water, more stable is the compound. And also this ligand also if it is a chelate, it forms a ring that increases the stability of this. What is chelate effect? The thing we just discussed gives an example. See, when the ligands are attached to the metal ion and that forms a ring, and that gives a more stable coordination compound, right? These complex they have chelate rings and they are more stable. And this is called chelate effect. For example, we talk about Ni, and I have H3, 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 H3. H3. Here with the plus two charge of this And other let's suppose talk about this one. Again. Again. This is Ni Pn3 2 plus. And this is Ni minus 3 6 minus. You compare these to compound. This is more stable because this is the chelate ring in this form. Three chelate rings. The most stable. This is not that stable because there is no ring. Okay. How many ions are produced from the complex? This. So in this, if you see, you know that this coordination complex will not dissociate. The only thing that will dissociate is this two chlorine ions. So this two chlorine ion is the number of ions. So two ions will be produced in this or from this complex in this solution. Amongst the following, which has the highest magnetic moment values? So you define the magnetic moment. So here this is Cr3 plus. Please note all these are tetrahedral, or sorry, octahedral, right? And all these have strong field ligand or weak field ligand. Water is weak field. In fact, water is weak ligand also and weak field ligand also because it's not the basic. We talk about the first thing Cr3 plus. Cr3 plus is 3D3. So if we draw the structure, it will be 1, 2. Iron, iron is Fe2 plus. Fe2 plus is 3D6. Draw the structure. Since water is a weak ligand, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, not 4 sparing. This is the structure. We talk about zinc. Zinc is also 2 plus. Zinc 2 plus is 3D10. Water is a weak ligand, it won't force pairing, but they are 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19. No option to be paired. So if you see the maximum magnetic moment is here because there are 4 unpaired electron, there is 3 unpaired electron, there is 0 unpaired electron. So maximum number of unpaired electron, maximum is the magnetic moment because magnetic moment is root n into n plus 2. More is the value of n, more is the value of magnetic moment. So this has the maximum magnetic moment. You don't need to find the exact value of magnetic. Total oxidation number of cobalt here to find pretty easy. You can do that. See, CO is minus 1, minus 1 into 4 is minus 4. You see, let's suppose x, production is plus 1, plus 1, minus x minus 4 is 0. So, all the value of x, x is plus 3. And this is the last one. Okay. So, we have to arrange this in the most stable complex. In this case, if you see, all are iron. The only difference is the ligands. So in ligands I told, more basic, more stable, and chelate has more effect on stability. So you see if there is an H chelating agent, yes, this is more stable. You see below. Second is, 
two which is more basic among FeCl3, uh, Ca, chlorine, and ammonia. Or the question was most stable. It's most stable is this. That's the answer. We don't need to form the series. Right? The chelating effect gives the most stable compound. If there was no chelating effect, then it would have told and based on the basic nature of the ligand, not on the weak and strong feel ligand. It is actually weak and strong ligand based on the basic nature of the ligand because the ligands are expected to be of basic nature. What is the correct order of the wavelength adsorption in the visible phase of this? See, in this, you see all the you see the oxidation state. This will be minus plus two. Plus two plus two because it's visible. Plus two plus two. All are nickel plus two oxidation state. The ligands are different. Okay. What is the strongest ligand here? Strongest ligand here is NO2. Must. Then ammonium. Then water is the weakest. Mm. We talk about the ligands as per the stereochemical series we have. This is the series. Okay. Now, if we talk about NO2 minus, okay, if we talk about this case NO2 minus, it will cause splitting like this. This must be. We talk about NiNH3, it will cause this much splitting. If we talk about NiH2, it will cause this much splitting. Then this will be, these are all octahedrals. This will be P2G, this will be P2G, 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 and so this one, delta naught, is more in the first case, delta naught is less in the second case, delta naught is all the more less in the first case. This has max delta. Okay, this has linear delta, and this delta naught is nothing but energy. Energy, as we know, is as C by lambda. That is, it is indirectly proportional to the lambda. So, maximum energy means it will absorb minimum wavelength light, and this is minimum energy, it will absorb maximum wavelength light. That was the order. We have to find the order of the wavelength absorption. So this is the maximum wavelength absorption, this is minimum, this is in the middle. So I can say that order of the compound, this is the maximum length, that is NiH26, 2 plus is maximum, and then this NiH3, NH3, 6, 2 plus, and then this guy. And then Remember when I was talking about this topic, I told that there will be a numerical on this where we talk about the wavelength based on the splitting energy. More splitting energy, less is the wavelength, right? Because splitting energy is more than then more energy is required. More energy is required, that means less wavelength is required because energy is directly proportional to Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attend free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.